Hello and welcome to evening prayer uh, from me and Eleanor. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. As we behold your Son enthroned on the cross, stir up in us the fire of your love, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and walk with you in newness of life, singing the praise of him who died for us and our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may the light of your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 3 verses 21 to 26. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time, so as to be just, and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. According to Leon Morris, this is perhaps the most significant paragraph ever written. After the bleak yet realistic news of chapter 1 verse 18 right through till chapter 3 verse 20, we come to the monumentously good news that a right standing with God apart from human performance has been revealed. It comes to all who believe in the faithful work of Jesus Christ. The need for such a relationship is universal. In explaining this, Paul employs three words in common use in his time. Justified. This is a legal word, whereby God, the judge, declares the guilty sinner to be in the right with him. How can God do this and remain just? He does it on the basis of the death of Jesus, which has fully paid our penalty and given us acquittal. Secondly, redemption. This is a word from commerce. It is what Jesus' death means to us. Jesus buys us back for God, paying the ransom price of his own perfect life. And thirdly, sacrifice. The sacrifice of atonement or propitiation. This is a religious word. It explains what Jesus' death means to God. Through his death, Jesus absorbs the wrath of God due to our sin so that we don't have to take the punishment we deserve. Thus, God the Father, in the death of the Son, makes his attitude to sin plainly clear. God also demonstrates his justice. His perfect Son gives his life to set us free. In that, he absorbs God's just wrath against human sin. God, in his love, satisfies his own justice. The penalty of sin is paid and the law is upheld. God is just and is able to be the justifier by declaring us to be the, in the right because of the work of Jesus. We are not set right because of our faith. We are set right through faith and by faith. Faith links us to the work of Christ, which is the foundation of right relationship. The foundation of this relationship is the unchanging work of Christ, 
God is always satisfied with the work of his son. Hence, our relationship with God is unchanging and stable because it is based on what Jesus has done for us. Reflecting in the light of the truths of this paragraph of scripture. Why is the practice of religious rituals to earn God's favour both impossible and necessary? Why are these truths so liberating? Okay, we're going to say our prayers now. Um, I, this evening I'm going to be praying again for all those who are sick and suffering at the moment. Um, and many of you personally in the church family. I'm also going to be praying for my children, my godchildren and my wider family, as well as a lot of friends who I know are really having a, a tougher time of it at the moment. And we continue in prayer. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross we may triumph in the power of his victory through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Standing at the foot of a cross, 
as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cheerio from us.